My main takeaway is that he sent the right signals. He said uh, framework was uh, value of international cooperation, multilateralism, but also what China is ready to do in support of this international cooperation with signals on the opening up and with signals on the reform side. Opening up, uh, reducing tariffs because it's good for Chinese consumers. Opening up uh, because it will provide more opportunities uh, for foreign uh, exporters. Uh, in goods and on services, very interesting signals, for example, on new services sectors like healthcare, uh, education, but also uh, signals in the direction of reforms. And uh, there, uh, he says, further experimenting with free trade zones and expanding it beyond uh, the reach that it has had up until now. Yeah, he Obviously, oh, I was about to say, he, he had a lot of encouraging words, but at the yeah. same time, we have heard these types of comments before in yeah. similar speeches. Yeah. So uh, what do you think is really con going to convince uh, foreign companies that China means it this time? Yeah, I think that the test of all of this is in the implementation. Some of this implementation has started more on the opening side, uh, for example, the reduction of tariffs. This is something that has started. It's not something that he has promised. He's delivering on that. Uh, on the reform side, obviously, interesting steps. I found particularly interesting, for example, protection of intellectual property rights with sanctioning violators of intellectual property rights with punitive uh, sanctions, uh, which I think in a way gives us the sense that uh, China has understood that it needs a more modern version of Deng Xiaoping uh, 1978 uh, open and reform. This is the 21st century in which China needs to tap into creativity, innovation, and that requires things like protecting intellectual property rights right. for domestic and for foreigners. Obviously, right. uh, obviously very good for, for China to make those types of moves. So how do you think this is going to go down in Washington? Because uh, President Trump has been very critical of a lot of uh, what they see as a, a lack of steps and lack of progress on the part of the Chinese. No, I think <laughs> signals like uh, the ones we heard today can be uh, useful in creating an environment of trust. What is needed now uh, between China and the U.S., but also with the rest of the world, is create a bit more trust so that a number of these issues that are also part of multilateral discussions, like, for example, trade and technology, like, for example, protecting intellectual property rights, cyber security, uh, data protection, ele electronic commerce, can be dealt with at the multilateral level, which is the right level, given the level of interconnection of our economies. So I hope this is trust signal that is taking as such by the rest of the world, understanding that what they will demand is not just signals. They will request that all of these signals translate into, uh, into concrete actions. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.